Welcome to Eucanic. Today we have a 2021 Mazda CX-9 and I'm going to show you how to be able to remove your central airbag so that you can replace your steering wheel and or clock spring on this vehicle. So first we need to de-energize the vehicle meaning that we need to disconnect our negative battery cable and give the vehicle 10 to 15 minutes of time for the, bat the vehicle itself to de-energize from all of the modules. Once we've allowed that to happen, we can also hold our hand on the horn to be able to make the horn connection so that everything else will, it, to make sure it's fully de-energized. Now, we're able to remove our central airbag. Now, if you're replacing the airbag, you still want to de-energize the vehicle, but it's not as um, sensitive as it is when the airbag is still intact. So, to remove this, the best option is to have your steering wheel in the central location um, forward because we don't want to have this off to the side and it's more essential when you're removing the clock spring that you want to have your steering wheel and the clock spring in the central location so what we have is a tool here this is just a t20 anything similar we want something fairly small but also has a decent a bit of a blunt tip there so right here um, on both sides to the back of it where this uh, crossbar goes across we have two holes and that's where we can push our tool in there and then we also have one down here on the bottom on this left hand side of the steering wheel and so what you do is you take your tool and we're going to go up at an angle and you're going to find and it just kind of like guides you in to where you can press the clip so finding the hole here and then just following with it pointing toward the top it literally has a groove that it follows along the top. Same thing on this side, following the top. There we go. And then on the bottom, it's basically putting it straight up. We find the hole. We just go almost straight up, a little bit to the front, and then we're able to unclip that. So this is where it gets a little bit um, tougher here, is that we are going to pull this out, and as we rotate it, we need to disconnect these two connections and then this one here. This one goes to the horn connection and a ground, All right? So we disconnect that and now we need to disconnect these two connections. So these are a little bit um, that we need to pop the, the center of them out. That gets the uh, safety lock undone and now being able to pull on the connectors we can undo them there we go now those are undone now a lot of times if this central airbag goes off these melt to here so you'll need to replace um, sometimes you can replace just this little pigtail or the whole clock spring this one is all one unit part of the clock spring so you would need to be replacing the whole clock spring even if this goes off and your clock spring is still good so now that, that we want to be able to set this um, the central airbag to the side nice and gently and put it down there and that would be how we removed the central airbag um, and now able to remove the steering wheel before we go ahead we need to unhook this electric and this electric goes to the two switches over here um, our combos switches there and so now we disconnected that that's good now we need to undo this um, bolt here this is a 21 millimeter and so we're going to be able to back that out now you either want a helper to help you hold the steering wheel if you need to use a breaker bar or if you have an impact tool um, they're the best to be able to get this to come out now one thing too we want to do our best to keep the steering wheel in the central location as we do this so that when we disconnect and remove the, the clock spring it's also in the central so we're going to start by undoing the bolt just like that and setting that aside and now we're going to make a visual look here i'm actually just going to get a marker and make a mark so that when we put this back on it lines up where we took it off so that when we put the steering wheel back on and we're driving straight it's not heading off one side to the other sometimes there is a master spline and so you can't Put this on in the other direction but we're just going to make a mark there okay made a mark with a black marker there so that we can line it back up when we put it back on there we go 
now this is our our clock spring wires here and we want to just make sure that those stay um, right there so this is like kind of a knot style and so as you can see it's not a bunch of spline but that way we know that as long as we keep this up in the central location and we put this back on central they'll be um, lined up so the clock spring only has like two and a half revolutions to the right two and a half revolutions to the left and so if you put this in wrong that uh, being this uh, this has an indicator right here this little yellow uh, ball that's in there and that's where we want to have it lined up so like if we spin this one revolution to the right you'll see that we don't line up with that yellow ball so we got to go back to the left and there so what will happen is if you um, put this on in the wrong location when you turn the steering wheel you can break the ticker uh, the tape in there and then it'll set off all types of airbag lights and you'll have to replace it so when you buy a new one of these or a good used one you want to make sure that you put this in the right location when you put it on so to get to that process to be able to remove it we have uh, done those steps to get here now to we want to open up this clamshell piece we have the steering wheel um, with our, our release lever here and where we pulled it all the way towards us but we also keep that lever down and then um, we have a, a, a P number two Phillips screw here and right up here once you undid that then you'll be able to pull this clamshell apart again we try to keep this in that location So now we have it separated and then we can really separate it and let this hang on down there or drop out either way this one's going to stay up here but still attached and then we're going to resituate this here so now we have some electrical connections to undo on the back side of this clock spring so squeeze those clips and unhook them Everything goes through the clock spring as it communicates with the steering wheel. So that's also some issues there. So we've got this last one to unhook. Okay, so this last one, there's the little black collar right here and we pull that back to be able to get it to unhook so now we have the wires unhooked we should be able to release the clip up top and then there's a clip down here and a clip on this side the clock spring for replacement with a new one and that is what our clock spring looks like So we have our clock spring right here. One thing we want to make sure, whether we're replacing this because we took it off, we maybe needed to get some other access inside here, or we're replacing the clock spring itself. We have a little indicator here, that yellow indicator, and that needs to be in the center for when we put it back on. Another thing is we've made sure that our steering wheel is still in the central location, that the tires are heading straight forward. So if this rotates around one revolution to the left, and or to the right that thing still doesn't line up and then if, even if we go a second it's it's right there but it doesn't line up so these will only rotate two and a half um, or so revolutions to the right and or to the left and so you want to make sure that you don't go any further than that but we just spin this back if if it got out of alignment we can spin it back until that ball comes back into alignment and so that is our a line indicator here and so that's one thing you want to make sure before you put on a new one or your good used one 
Um, new ones a lot of times have a lock that'll make sure that they are in their location. But a, a good used one, sometimes you may need to double check and make sure you line it up. So with that being done, then our next thing is we just need to slide this up over and we've got two little line grooves here that it can sit in and then we just press it forward and there's a clip on the top and one on both bottom sides. Then we have the three electrical connectors that plug in here to connect it up. Okay, so we have our three electric connections are connected now. Um, if you want, you can put this on now or you can put this on after you put the steering wheel. We're just going to get this lined up in here where we can. And so with the lever down, it gives us easier access to be able to put this up in here, just like so, and then being able to line up our clamshell portion and closing it together. We've got little indicators and whatnot to line up there. And then the two Phillips screws, one here and one here from the bottom to tighten those up into place. Now, we'll lock the uh, steering into place, and there we go. So we have our um, clock spring is still in the alignment, and now we're ready where we can put on our steering wheel unit itself. All right, so we are um, got our steering wheel ready to go on, and then Make sure you feed these wires that go to your airbag in through there. And then we have our, our line here marked up or matching. Make sure that our clock spring stays in the proper alignment. And then we do have this electric connection to make there. We need to put in our, our large bolt here to hold our steering wheel on. Sure, it's good and tight there. Um, and now we're ready where we can put on our central airbag and that will finish all that we um, do for the reason that we would need to remove our steering wheel, clock spring steering wheel and central airbag. Like I said, these can be replaced without needing to remove this and I will show you how to do that. So taking our airbag we need to make our electrical connections here. We have the ground. And that's just a spade connection that just presses in there. And then these are color coded. So these are color coded and they'll only go in the one slot. So if we line them up the right way. There are grooves that make them line up in the way that they're supposed to be. Then once you press that in and so fully connected in press the safety lock in that makes that connection and then we have our ground wire here that we still need to make which is the spade connector press it in and you should hear a click and see we have our emblem upside down so we'll just need to spin it and make sure everything is still um, right and now okay, this is just as simple as pressing firmly around and all those little tabs that we undid clip and hold that back into place. And so that's the replacement of our central airbag, steering wheel, clock spring on our Mazda CX-9.